throughout the Oh, I accidentally clicked on it. Apparently that's not a loading screen. Uh eh, you guys probably don't need to see anyway. Anyways, welcome back. We are here at the Lion's Den. Is it called the Lion's Den? Lion's Lair. So throughout these gloomy mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. Feeling stuck? Don't worry, be adventurer. Um. Wait, there's cave carvings on the walls? They give you hints? I didn't know there were. Oh, right here. Blue, purple, green, red, yellow. Well, that's all, all the color of their noses, so... It says blue first. And... purple. Where's our purple guy? We don't have any purple. So let's just do green next. I don't know what other pattern you're looking at, game. Is it wheels you're looking at? Is is this feet? Are you looking at feet? Mm, it could be. No, it's not. It's not feet. Is there any other cave paintings anywhere else? No. That doesn't help me at all. They're down there in the bottom, I think. Um. We have no other greens, do we? Oh, we got one more blue. I didn't see that. Uh, it should be red next. So that was the issue before. We just missed that one blue. Well done, no wise and trusted guide. I think in the past there was no wall. He just lifted up his par, that was it. Also, he had a little bit more facial expression. Use the crystal filters to change the Zumbini's reflection. It will give them crystal slamming protection. No, it won't. The crystal slumming protection is if you pull the lever and the thing goes across, if there is the two patterns on the side don't match, the crystal will go down and the Zubinis will slam into the crystal and get sent down the hole. So the very first level is easy, you just Gotta find the reflection up here to the Zabini over here. Easy peasy. Later levels, it starts putting in more panes of glass that will change the reflection of whoever you put on here across. So, it's a little bit more thinking. Oh, they go anywhere on here. Do you go anywhere on there? No, you don't. Alright, so, hmm. Well, you match. Alright. Let's see, what else do we have here? Hmm. Here we go. Hmm. 
So yeah, this could take a while for this. I'm probably gonna stay side this way, I can just um skip ahead. Still got like twenty minutes to tar. Uh, let's see. So yeah. So I started doing the zombinis mostly because I just wanted to do a little bit of other stuff other than just Minecraft. I don't know if I'm going to make it so that Minecraft is still being done every single day or not. Or this will just be the filler for each and every day. Or if it's per request. Uh, oh, we match. Matches. Oh, great. But you right off the bat. Alright, we got you. I'm seeing these really easily. games I want to play as well, but we'll get to them when we get there. But right now with the Zumbinis, I feel the Zumbinis had a bigger impact on my life because it was fun and it was one of the early games that I was allowed to play. I think after this was like SimCity, which I probably won't play though. Because Microsoft ha likes having a Iron, I don't, I don't know if it was Microsoft who made that, I think it was Maxis back then, but I don't, oh, Maxis was bought out by EA, and yeah, EA has an iron grip on their games, they don't like to have anything on certain platforms, also they don't like to re-release old games either, from what I've noticed. So we're probably never going to play SimCity 2000. Would be nice though. Good old reminiscing. But also, you might as well just play the newest game for SimCity because there's just gonna be more and more features. Even though the SimCity 2000 was a little bit more simple with its squared plots. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing who it is. Must be one of the glasses guys. Yeah, it is a glasses guy. Alright, who's next? Propeller guy. Alright, this lady. It could so be a man, you would never know. You honestly would never know. Because they all, all, they're, they're all are zoom beanies. They're just beans. As far as I know, they don't even have, you know, emotions or anything. They're just hollow inside. 
just monsters running around with hairstyles and eyes and nose and feet that look like they're for something specific. Well, it has to be this lady, and we just have to find her. Oh, where could she be? Easy. Well, that's why I can make do to make the series more entertaining. I can just make fun of it the entire time. Search first for traps. So easy to miss. To get Zumbinis across Bubble Wonder Abyss. Honestly, I remember this one being very difficult. Because, like he said, it was easy to miss mistakes. It's easy. So here's how it works. Zoomies will get on, will go across, and then you gotta follow these arrows to see where they would go. And you see if they don't match, they would fall into his vortex and be sent away. Well, I can see these eyes will work here, so let's just send them off. You see, just it sends them off immediately. You have to be careful. They can bump into each other on transit, and then get and then be sent away as well. So you need to space them out a little bit, or they bump into each other while they take turns. Well, corners. Now we don't have to worry about those anymore. Let's look to the next file. So as soon as they go over here, they'll go up. If they had this set, these one eyes that these guys had, they'd go into the vortex. So now it's over here. It's gonna switch, it's gonna in intervert, well, invert each time. So as soon as we touch this, it's gonna go that way next. But for now, it's going up. So you gotta keep everyone with. World skates on the other side, and everyone with wheels on the other side. And anyone who does not belong with those two groups stays in the middle. So, right now, we gotta send in anything but World Skate. Now it's on this side, and we can't do the wheels again, or we get sucked across, sucked into the vortex. So we're all skate now. And then next is gonna be simple. It's gonna be this. So now we're just with these two. All right. I'm giving some time. All right. Gates is now safe. So imagine this later on when it gets more difficult. Well done, no oh wise and trusted guide. Na, 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 na. Is this it? Could this be the place they've been seeking? A place of hope and prosperity? The sound was a little broken there. Oh, neat! Uh, is there anything else here? Oh, yeah, um... There you go. Hmm. 
interesting. I like the fireworks, mostly. So... Hmm. It's the schoolhouse. Salutes the Zubinis who did not lag in Lion's Lair, solved the secrets of the mirror machine, and flew above Bubble Wonder Abyss, when traveling was not so easy. This clock tower was constructed for the Zubinis who aim built past allergic cliffs, cruised on by stone cold caves, and appeased Arno, the almost omnivorous. <laughs> And traveling was not so easy. This windmill was brought to honor the Zubinis who calmed Captain Kajun, rode tech to toads, and knew how to network. Knew how to network. Oh, it's those. Matt, that rock thing that lifted us up. The face you would have thought it was going to be from the, um, the cliffs, but no. Alright, that's everything. So, and now you, the map is a little more filled out. There's actually a south path that we could have took, and that's, I find, a little bit more difficult. But, relatively, it's still easier than the frogs aren't, when comparing to the three levels compared to the one level. Because that one level for the frogs could be more difficult, depending on difficulty setting. Anyway, that's it for today, so see you later. Bye.